Monica, thank you very much. And as we mentioned, we are expected to get even hotter through the wow. end of this work week, and we're talking triple digit streaks with really no relief in sight. That's right, and KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto spoke with some residents about their thoughts on the start of summer and how to stay safe. Skylar is live in Central El Paso, and Skylar, how is it feeling out there right now? We're lucky to be here <laughs> under the AC in the studio. Well, Carla, Andy, residents tell me, and I'm definitely feeling it too, the dry El Paso heat definitely changes their outdoor plans. Now the hottest hours are between 4 and 5 p.m. So you probably won't see a lot of people running, hanging out or just walking outside. But staying hydrated is essential as the temperatures are only expected to get hotter. If your pee starts looking like apple juice, you're in trouble. You better get inside. El Paso is nearing its first triple digit heat streak and El Pasoans are already having to change their outdoor plans. Definitely we'll do a lot more indoor activities. We'll probably go to the mall, um, go to the indoor pool. We'll probably go to the library a lot more often and just try to go to the park probably early in the early hours, especially right now since she's out of school. Like we'll try to go before, you know, like the temperature gets too, too hot. According to the Extreme Weather Task Force, last year there were four heat related deaths and they are urging everyone to stay safe while battling the heat. Plenty of water. Um, do your exercises early in the morning, late in the evening, dress appropriately. And if at any time you start to feel sick, I'm talking a really bad headache, nauseated, um, a little lightheaded, call 911 as soon as you can so that you don't get burned. Wear the sunscreen, drink plenty of water or those electrolyte uh, drinks so that make sure that if you're losing them, um, you're replacing them. And uh, wear a hat, wear sunglasses. Again, it's all about being preventive, taking the right steps and, and protecting yourself. What these also tells me you should never leave seniors, babies or pets inside of your car. It can get really hot within a matter of minutes and that person or that pet can pass away. And as El Pasoans prepare for the streak, they say they are built for it. It's definitely something that I've kind of grown accustomed to. I'll be doing the same thing. I'm, I'm built for the heat, so I'm good, man. <laughs> The Extreme Weather Task Force is accepting fan donations to help the elderly, disabled, and small children who are most affected by the heat, and you can donate those to your nearest fire station. Live in central El Paso, I'm Skylar Soto, KTSM 9 News. Back to you.